I'm standing here with Mr. Street, <laughs> captain Mr. himself at <laughs> Twitch. <laughs> so, your team killed it tonight. Hands down, were you ecstatic and proud of them? I was. I was very, very excited. I mean, I, and I'm still proud of them because they brought the fire tonight, man. They brought fight to the stage, you know. They and they were also able to shake off any uh, any comments, it, which were constructive, any comments from the judges that were constructive, but they didn't carry it with them to the next performance and be like, oh, nah, they, they came out and they fought and they did exactly what they needed to do, man. I'm so proud of them. It's crazy. Were there any standouts in your crew? Yes. Um, I got to give it up for the B-Boys tonight, man. Yeah. I got to give it up for the B-Boys because, look, the B and you, okay, you you worked before, so you know in <laughs> at the beginning of rehearsal, like, sometimes the B-Boys are like, yes, oh, always. you going to get these steps? Yes. So there was, I mean, there was a good day when we were like, oh, we might have to change a lot of things. But, I mean, that day-by-day -day process and them working hard and practicing at night, man, I couldn't be more proud of them, man. They stood up to the plate, man. So what do you do to keep them motivated? Because it is quite difficult. It is difficult, but I mean, the motivation is in this. Look, this is a one, this is a once in a lifetime opportunity. Like meaning, yeah, you can come back as an all-star, you can come back as a choreographer, but you're never going to compete on So You Think You Can Dance Again. Yeah. So with that, you have to soak up all of these moments and squeeze them uh, for as much life as you possibly can because it's going to be a once in a lifetime thing so treat it as such it's once in a lifetime don't don't slack don't 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 bs and and just go hard now we both come from a street background right. but both of us can twirl when it's needed you know what i'm saying can you tell the dance plug viewers how important it is to have that rawness but to still take class even yes. even though you're you know you're from the streets from the hood whatever yeah. you want to say it's as, look it's as easy as this Keep the rawness because that's great. That that can't be taught. But if you have that, then take the things that can be taught so you have that in your background too. And then you'll be able to mix the two and you're just versatile. That make that makes you uh, open for, for a lot more work um, and, and able to do many more things and understand many more things knowledge is power man as cliche as that is knowledge is power so uh you know you can depend on that on that talent as much as you want but your talent is going to fail you if you're not skilled i took that from will smith but it's the true thing man oh, i you, like that really, i might have to really speak wanna, that. yeah if you really want to let your artistry known then you have to put skill behind your talent all right well yeah. thank you so much we'll see you next week thank they you kill much, yo. they kill Keep it plugged right here yes dance fuck. <laughs>